with this buddy. I didn't have any Oregon cheese, so I got Cracker Barrel cheese. <laughs> It's juicy, it's on my heater. <laughs> Alright, what's going on guys? I appreciate all the love on the YouTube channel lately. We're almost at 300 subscribers. And because of that, we have a very special sponsorship now because of all the love that you've been showing. Our first sponsorship, our first partner is with the pens. And the pens are great for all your fly fishing needs. I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate taking my waders down to pee, especially in this cold temperature. Plus, you throw these suckers on, you get in there, they absorb everything. It's almost like hot hands for your crotch. Get all nice and soaked, and then you're warm the rest of the day. Plus, you know, with COVID and everything, if you don't have a mask, you know, you just pop one out, you know, either, you know, tie it around, duct tape it, throw it over the head. Plus, you know, I don't know about you, but whenever I have a pair of waders, the crotch is usually the first that comes out because all these seams that meet here. So you can just take your, your your depends over the top of your waders and you know it's like a instead of like putting the sealant on there, that that extra that extra little uh, patch, you just you throw on a pair of depends and you know you cover that up. I, I put these on backwards because you know the, the butt's a little bit bigger, but I want to cover the crotch here. I didn't do that intentionally at all. This guy's got a half busted pole. He's taking him into the tree. And he's still got the fish. I'll let this be known that this is the second time I fished with Tyler this season. And this is the second rod he's snapped. He snapped a rod every time I fished with him. And he's still fighting it under the tree. This ain't Colorado, boy. He's determined. He's very determined. If he thinks I'm going over there, he's nuts. Rod. It's in the water. He is bound and determined. Well, I'm using the old fly rod today, so it looks like you can't borrow my gear, let it be known. And he might have lost it there. Maybe. Might have might have busted him off there. Uh, walk of shame. Yep. <laughs> Here he is wading across the Bighorn River. Nice dark male. You like them big dark males, don't you? I gotta get my other rod. Uh, let's see the damage. Oh, we got you good. Cause this piece is fine, but this is gave up. You said it gave up. The rod or the fish? Uh, I thought right. I was at least gonna land. I thought I was at least gonna land the fish. That would've been pretty cool. <laughs> but I snapped it because I didn't have any bend in my. Uh, steelhead brown season, PA New York. 2020, it's just the year we're having. Cuckoo! Waiting to be caught. Erie, Pennsylvania, waiting to be caught. My shit line. See that? That's a preemptive GoPro start. He knows. 
Because look at that fly. Look what he went with. The Cracker Barrel cheese. See this? Cracker Barrel cheese. Yeah. Except I don't know how to cast. <laughs> I still... This is what I'm talking about. The old... The old, the old fly rod, spinning rod switch. Where's your net? I didn't bring it. <laughs> bring your net. I just, I just, I just remembered. I forgot. <laughs> the old fly rod, spinning rod switcheroo. And Nick with the fly rod strikes first. That's a minnow. Still your first fish on fly rod, though. Don't jinx it, Tyler. We J broke a rod today already. This is legit. Here, I'll tell. Touch it, touch it. Come up for the picture. Yes, sir. Got it. I still think I'm carried away. It's everyone's favorite segment. Watch Nick not catch any fish. Although he did just lose one <laughs> right before I zoomed in. Dude, throw a cast. The viewers are waiting. Hurry up. Come on. You know, people just tuned out in that, you know, intermission of you not doing anything. Costing me, costing me views. All the visitors left. <laughs> nice. Your bobber came off? Everything came off? Come here. You have to do a post fish interview. <laughs> post fish interview. There's my fish. He's freaking out because he got a fly in his mouth. So what happened? Uh, well, that was poor judgment of where the fish was, according to how much slack line I had out. Didn't set the hook properly. Although the film may show differently. To be honest, I was looking at my boots with the camera. <laughs> So essentially, what I'm getting at... My bobber was like half melted for some reason. <laughs> it like froze. The styrofoam 